So what does the Kawhi extension tell you about the Clippers' future? Uh, that they're still going to keep trying to go for that invisible championship that they want. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, I mean, it's, it's showing that they, they actually are serious about winning. So um, you don't think they got a chance this year? They do. They do. If they, they you know, well. play, they play uh, well. Yeah, that's what I said. It's, it's playing well right now. It's, it's playoffs. I like this move. You know why? Because it's submitting everybody on the West to actually make decisions with their star players. Because mm -hmm. the Lakers going to have to make a decision with AD. And I think Denver, they locked in Joker, right? Mm -hmm. Murray, when is Murray up? Then Maybe you got, just signed an, an extension. Then you got Clay. You got the Golden State. You got to figure out what you're gonna do with OKC. You got to figure out what you're gonna do. So Murray, with Sack. OKC Murray, still young. Murray's through next season. You got to make decisions. What I'm saying is, when you can submit uh, cement, a, a, like a guy like Kawhi, and then you can pick up PG and then see what James is gonna do. You got Russ on the one year. You bring that team back again, and happen to add some more pieces. It's like, well, well the Clippers three, will be right? the... Two, the rest has a player option after this season. They got, a, they got a good chance to be the team to beat next year. Right. Let's just say this year don't pan out. Their momentum now going into next year and everyone having to make moves, it's like, well, y'all got to make some big moves because Kawhi said he ain't going nowhere. And he's taking less, which uh, I think signals to me his commitment to the squad. I feel like him and other players on the team are talking. Like, look, I'll take a little bit less. You take a little bit less. I, I don't think people really understand the what contracts are right so like when a guy signs an extension it's actually cheaper for the team versus him opting out right when he signs an extension is what what 12.5 mm -hmm. onto his last number right uh so if he's if he's not a max player if he is it's only a 12.5 increase right versus getting rid of the whole deal and just signing a, a whole new deal mm -hmm. so how much he loses by so signing an extension 8.5 million each under year. the maximum salary amount. Each year? I think for his three years, that's what, how Sean put out. Total of the three years, yeah. about three million per. So three, okay, so, so like if he opted out, you know, he, he has eight more million to gain. So that's why most players opt out of their deals and go as a free agent so they can sign the max. It's not necessarily trying to leave. Gotcha. I'm with it. So when you, when you look at that crew, uh, would Kawhi have been the first player you locked down? Would that be the first domino that you wanted to fall? If you're the Clippers. A healthy Kawhi? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. because yeah, he's the best player to ever put a Clipper uniform on. Okay. So, and then go get Paul George. Paul George be the next domino. So, Paul, PG, uh, his extension talks are still ongoing. Uh, he has a player option at the end of the season. Harden cannot, I think, negotiate his new deal or get a new deal till the offseason. Yeah, because of the trade. And Westbrook has a player option for next. Why you like Kawhi so much, man? <laughs> What? Why you like Kawhi so much? Let's explain. He's a dog. Let's explain this. He's a dog, bro. Huh? He's a dog. I just know dogs. Like when I'm watching the game, I can see like who's a dog, and he has and he has that dog in him. Like which dog? The dog that's coming back from like the beware of dog. The dog that's coming. The, like, the dog, the, like the beware of dog. The dog that's coming back from the no the like dog the, hospital. No, like the, the always like hurt. The dog he's always hurt. Beware of dog. He ain't really been a dog. He hasn't been a dog. He's been hurt. He's been in the kennel. He's been hurt, but that doesn't mean he's not a dog. He's like like pound for pound, like you know, like money. what's what's the <laughs> point? What's the point of having a dog in your backyard and he can't fuck with nobody? He can't bite nobody. I've jumped through that oh, motherfucker. Oh, eat a dog with the cone on it. Yeah, he got the cone. Like oh, he got his uh, rock wallet. He got oh, his little ears, but he can't. The yeah, he's just, yeah, listen, he's the biting right now. Yo, listen, I'm not gonna fuck the Kawhi Leonard. Like I'm you know, asking like, you, what's the what's the whole what's the whole I mean, the resume speaks for itself, though. The resume speaks for itself. Best Clipper ever? To put a Clipper? Yeah. No, I mean, the, the, yeah, I'm, overall, we're just like, yeah, he's the best Clipper ever. He's better than Paul George? Is he better than Paul George? Yeah. yeah he's better than Paul. So, quiet in 193 games as the Clippers after 25 points, seven rebounds, five assists. You take it a moment. Like, I can't, like, with Kawhi, I can't, I don't have, like, because if we just rolling out the ball... You're taking him over PG. If we just rolling out the ball and we at UCLA... I don't, come on, man. PG one of the most skilled niggas. Uh. We got a surprise oh, shit, for you. the dog shit out of you. See? Dog scared the dog shit out of you. Freedom I is see, back. I, I ain't seen this nigga in a minute. The dog scared the dog shit out of you. <laughs> Freedom is back. Like, manicured. Like, uh... 
Yeah. Like with Kawhi, it's like it just seems like you might not like how it looks, but he just gets it done. Yeah. Right? He just wanna he just gets it done, right? It, it looks robotic, it looks ugly, it ain't a sexy, it ain't sexy. Right, it's sure. it's like it's, it's like uh, going to a, a a black barbecue. It, 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 it's a hole in the wall. You look at it, like, oh man, got the bum on the side. Food good, right? But the food bacon, <laughs> food bacon flies in that up. But the food bacon, they the rude. The they chef? rude. What you want? What you want? Uh, <laughs> what you got? Me you up there? Like, Hurry up! Yeah. Everybody got corn rolls. Yeah, and yeah, shit. yeah. You get the food. Like, Damn! But y'all don't enjoy watching Kawhi's game. I really, I just feel I like with Kawhi, it's like. Like him, him, like coming out of LA, him and Westbrook are like the two most feared, I think, out of LA players ever. It's just fear. Like, I don't think niggas want to go one on one or be in that dog fight with them, with them type of players. With who and who? With Westbrook and, and uh, Kawhi Leonard. Like, when it comes to like that just mentality and just like Kawhi don't say nothing, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you just know what it is. Like, Westbrook is like, you don't want to be in a dog fight with them for 48 minutes. So in practice, when PG is like, going up against Kawhi, Kawhi getting the best of him? I don't know. I'm not I'm there. asking you. I, 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 I doubt it. I mean, I, and I don't even know if they're playing one-on-one. Hey, they ain't about one-on-one. I'm just saying oh, if they both sure. they, they playing one-on-one. Yeah, I'm saying. I'm, I will be mad if Paul George, if Kawhi is supposed to be the best defender, he can sharpen my, my tool. So I'm going to challenge him every day. Well, maybe. They're playing on the I'm, same I'm just game. saying. You're saying they're playing on the I just want I just want proof. <laughs> I just want proof behind the pudding, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, man, Paul George is uh, uh, arguably one of the nicest, smoothest motherfuckers we've seen. No, for sure. He, no, he's the, PG, he's that size. No, PG sure. also and said I'm that sure. he was comfortable being the number two and he had to come to that realization. So you can't be so you can't be better. You, you already giving me the number one smooth. Nah, that's that because that he's I'm, I'm catering to the owner. No, you're not. And the owner no, making not. this guy our guy. No, I can't. Not. I don't want to conflict with our team. I'm just going to take the back seat. No, I'm cool. And I, we talked about this where it was like, Kawhi, I mean, uh, P. If you really gonna do that, you're taking yourself out of a, a situation where you're the guy. You're saying, I wanna be Robin. But you don't have to do that. You're doing it because you kind of like Westbrook. You know the game enough to say, I'm gonna stand down so our guy who they brought here to be this guy can be that guy. I bet you practice don't start unless Kawhi Leonard say so. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you know you're the guy. Yeah, I mean, huh? yo, yo, whenever Kawhi say we start in practice, that's when we start. But he don't talk, so we ain't never starting. No. I know. So when the he walk don't out, even say what he's supposed to do. Nod no. his head. No, yeah. No, that's, that's right. Just exactly. The, that's the media, man. We don't exactly. Know. He just no, don't he, talk. No, no, he do talk. Yeah. <laughs> but KJ Martin was on this squad before the Harden trade. Kenny said he spent a lot of time at their training camp. I think the previous year it was kind of a bunch of bullshit. This year, guy said they wanted to work. So that was coming from their two leaders. One of them you say is a dog. You saying PG not, not dog tendency? No, I'm saying PG is the nicest. Like okay. he's the nicest, smoothest. He like a, a he's the ideal player that you want to draft in the draft. So so Kawhi locked up now, but do you see the Clippers running it back with the rest of the big four? Obviously, PG seems like the next domino. They get PG straight. Harden already took less bread with the Sixers. Do you think he stays in LA? Sees the other guys taking less, said, I'm going to take a little less, too. And then Westbrook has that player option, but do you see Westbrook saying, fuck the bread, I'm just going to stay here, even though my minutes are diminished. I'm going to stay here and keep rolling and not try to go chase one more bag. I mean, I... I if I'm James, I'm... got to get rid of Zubat, man. I mean, he's doing what we could presume to be doing with you all, all you can do, but I just never liked that piece after a DeAndre Jordan and a, and, a, and a Blake Griffin, seeing what they do at that position. You need a big that can be athletic <laughs> and do do certain shit. That um, motherfucker might be the best clipper ever. <laughs> he's been there the longest shit. Yeah, the <laughs> feel like he's been there through everybody. God sure. damn. It's like, what is your, what, what do y'all like about Zuba, man? He probably, just, I mean, he just probably might be a worker and he's cheap. You know, um, probably just does what he needs to do. I mean, they got two out of the four locked down so far, right? I don't see, I don't see Russ opting out if everyone's taking less money. His four million is less money. No, they got the one right. They just got Kawhi right now. They have Russ if he opts in. But 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 I'm saying he has four. What I'm saying is, if they're already taking pay cuts, then he's not going to try to ask for more money when they have two people that they have to sign. So right now, you have two out of the four, oh. right? Because. Russ will opt into his next deal, right? And then now you got, because what are you going to go to the market and get? 
Yeah. Four million a year? It's going to be about how much James asks. So it's James and, yeah, James okay, and James. Well, what I'm saying with Russ is you see the diminished role you sacrifice for this team if Russ still wants to play, right? I still want to not be relegated to playing 15, 16 minutes a game. So I'm going to opt out of my four million and, and then have somebody, what, give me two? Nah. Nah, not to a worse team. <laughs> no. Nah, no, not, this is no, the best I'm, situation I'm, 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 for Russ. He likes it. He's having fun. He's at home, so and they got a um, chance. And then so he feel can like be a wild is, card so, at so any so moment. This yeah. is be, this is his best situation. Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. For him, Hell yeah. for him mentally, yes. Okay. I think no he pressure. Had, yeah, I think he'll opt in, and then so you just got you know dealing with uh, Paul George and, and James. So right now, Kawhi's thirty-two, PG's thirty-three, Harden thirty-four, Westbrook thirty-five. How long do we feel like this window? Very short. About three years? Two more years. Yeah. 20, 226. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah, two 2000, more years. 2026. Yep. Get that into it, dumb. You said it, up. you said it. Everybody got two years. And everybody got two more years. Around. Two more years, then it's, going, it's up from there for the youngins. And Zubak under contract next season for close to 12 million. Mm. Yeah. Cheap. So, so cheap. Does he have enough value to make a move where you can get some pieces for him? You got to add another piece with him, like Norman? See, uh, he's uh, he's so cheap compared to everyone else. And then Norm Powell got two more years. He's making 19 mil next year, 20.4 million. You see, that's a yeah, he's a good pickup. And I love right. Norm. I know he's a good pickup. Yeah, yeah. he be shooting at like yeah, he, Norm is making 20 million. Why can't we have him over in the Lakers, man? God damn. Damn. Like that's what I'm saying. Like why can't we get him? Mm -hmm. Come here, yo, bro. Come here. Oh, I should talk to him. Hey, you Bones, Bones, you too. Well, look, we got. Listen, we got. All the shots you need over here. Trust me. Oh, him and Bones will be good. That's who. That's the kill. Yeah. That's who we need. We need that offense. Y'all got too much offense over here. Let's swap it out. Because they mentality is kill mode. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's what Bron needs. That's what Bron. Yeah. <laughs> swap it out. Give me a Cam Thomas. Just I need a dude out there who just has no no thought process no of passing, oh, get it. which makes the defense like oh. Sh uh, Ah. That's what Norm is. I'm coming in to That's get what I'm saying. Yeah. Bucket. That's why I say 20 million <laughs> I mean, a year. I should have just shut the fuck up and just. Yeah. I'm going to shut up. Leave y'all niggas alone. Yeah. I'm Norm Powell. I'm going to get my 20. Good. Yeah, I'm get good. my 20, nigga. I ain't got nothing to say to y'all. Get my 20. <laughs> get my 20. Yeah. All right, well, let's, let's keep this thing moving. We'll see. You guys say the Clippers window got a couple more seasons. We'll see how it pans out this year. But shout out to Kawhi for getting that deal done and being healthy. Yeah. Hopefully, he can stay healthy. Clippers 15 and 3 since December 1st. Best record in the league. Trending in the right direction. This goes to a testament is you're worth what you get, right? So all the people that say, oh, he's been hurt, and y'all going to gonna throw in how many games he's only played and, and, and this and try to say he's not worth it. But the problem is y'all don't know what he's doing at practice and every single day. The owner does. So the owner paid him this because he sees, he sees the work ethic itself. Right? It might not have panned out on the court yet, but the work ethic, the, the foundation is here. Right? And, and that's sometimes what media and fans don't understand. Right? He might not be playing, but he's here every day, 6 a.m., working on his body. It just ain't translated yet. So when I'm looking at he's a free agent, all I see is if I pay him, will it be a waste of money? I'm going to always pay a dude he's putting that work in, right? Eventually, it's going to flip over, and I'm going I'm to I'm make my profit. And Versus I'm, a lazy dude who ain't going to give me nothing that's coming in late. You know what I mean? So, And obviously, opening that new arena, you want to make a big splash. So what better way than to have this crew come through, be the inaugural team, regardless however this season pans out. But to sell tickets, obviously, get some motion as they go back to Inglewood City of Champions. Inglewood. Shout out Inglewood. Grace. It's going to be crazy over there. Yeah. They got like what? They got the football, the so form still over there. It's going to be crazy. They, they booting us out of there, though. The you airport know. over there. They booting us out, trying to raise that property value. Yeah. Shout out Furious Style. <laughs> All right.